I honestly don't have too much to say about this game because it barely even feels like one. I want to start off with what was good about the game, but it's hard to stray from the disappointment. First off, as a fan of some of the Hellraiser movies and sci-fi atmospheres similar to Hive Worlds on Destiny, I can tell you without a doubt that aesthetically this game gets me excited. A lot of the puzzles in this game were very different to others that I've experienced. The biomechanically built space hell that you find yourself in off rip gives you this I'm excited to learn what all this is feeling. Where are we at? What are we going to face? Why am I here? What am I? Etc. But this is where it all kind of ends as far as general positivity. This game makes Cyberpunk look like Grand Theft Auto. This game is shorter than my attention span, which is probably why I beat it in 6 hours during stream. It's like the movies Prometheus and Hellraiser had a baby, and then that baby played Dead Space, and when it grew up, it tried to make a video game. The entire game has zero talking, absolutely no dialogue at all. The game audio? It's just atmosphere, but one that makes you tired and not excited. The music can pick up when enemies are around, but it's the only time it's really even noticeable. The puzzles are more of a chore, as it takes up 98% of the game rather than being fun brain teasers sprinkled into the action and more. The entire experience of the game would have made a better short film. There is one boss battle. <laughs> one. Yes, one boss battle. Almost every single step of the way, you learn nothing about yourself or the story. You can make up what you want, turn, turn some of the artwork that surrounds you, as well as the way the place operates biomechanically, into a story on your own and interpret it as you may, but the fact is, nothing is explained at all. As I said before, there is no dialogue. There aren't even collectibles that you get to read. The inventory system is awesome, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, the inventory system, beautiful. But it's only three weapons and two tools. One weapon you don't even really get to switch back and forth between, but you have an option and key bindings for it. So it takes up a slot there, I, I guess, but it just doesn't matter. Though by the time you get that last weapon, you're only on the, you only use it on the boss battle, and then the puzzle before the end game. It's it's a shame. Uh, twice during my stream I contemplated shutting down the entire thing, but my OBS doesn't let me switch PC games without crashing, so I just stuck with it a bit longer. I'd recommend not buying the game till there is a sale on it for about $20 or less. I mean, some people pay that to see a movie at the theater, per person, and that's essentially what this experience is but around five hours long, and you have no idea what's going on the entire time, and you're kind of just... flowing. Anyways, check out some of the other reviews I have. I'll link my Cyberpunk one below, as well as my Twitch channel, so you can try to catch me over there live. See ya.